Where does that money go out of your paycheck for railroad retirement? Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about uh, money coming out of your paycheck right for those railroad retirement taxes. You see it come out the tier one, tier two taxes, all right, big part of uh, people's paychecks. So where does it go? What, what happens to that money? So the tier one portion, okay, is similar to Social Security and Medicare and I'll put that to the side. So no matter if you worked in the railroad or um, non-railroad, you're always going to pay that taxes. It's the other ones, the other piece that's uh, significant, right? The tier two portion. So what happens is the money comes out of your paycheck and then what it goes into the National Railroad uh, Retirement Investment Trust or NUR, no, I made that up. National Railroad Retirement Investment Trust. So that, they're the ones that manage the money. It was started, uh, founded in 2001, I think it became active 2002. Uh, set up by Congress by the Railroad Retirement and Survivors Improvement Act, okay? That established it. And basically what it, their charge is, is take this money and invest it like normal retirement plans. So if you look at Social Security right now, all they do is they take the money and they just buy government debt. So it kind of like cycles itself. And that's the only thing they are, uh, Social Security is allowed to invest in, right? But under this plan, like a normal company retirement plan, you can invest stocks, bonds, assets, uh, private equity, real estate, all those type of things. Uh, so that's, that's their charges, right? Here's the railroaders' money, okay? Go invest it, grow the money, pay out the benefits, right? The tier two benefits that we'll talk about in a minute. And who runs it? They have seven trustees, okay? And three of them are from labor, three are from management, and one is independent. And they'll, they'll come up with the, quote, the, kind of like the investment policy statement, right? How should we invest it? Who should invest it, right? So they hire outside managers. These individuals, they don't, they don't manage the money, but they go pick the managers out to go uh, to invest that money. So, you know, what do they do with the trust fund money? So you have the tier two that I have talked about, right? That big part of uh, real, one of the great benefits of railroad retirement. But also they'll pay out the non-Social Security equivalent benefit tier one portion, which is basically um, that supplemental type of income. So a railroader who has 30 years can retire at 60, but it will make them look like they're uh, him or her at their full retirement age, all right, at 67. So uh, they have to cover that difference, okay? And that's with a non-Social Security equivalent benefit. So that also comes out of the trust fund. And then also supplemental annuities also come out of there also. So that's, you know, that's a big piece. That's a lot of money. So in 2002, they transferred over $20.7 billion, $20 billion into, uh, into this trust fund. And over that time, they have paid out $31.7 billion to railroaders during that time, okay? And currently at the end of 20, uh, September of 22, right, the fiscal year, they have $24.9 billion. So you say, oh, geez, it's only, you know, almost $5 billion. But they've paid out $31 billion. So they've done very well for themselves uh, running this uh, very efficiently, that's for sure. However, like most individuals, I'm sure everyone who's, uh, you know, has a 401k, the 2022 performance wasn't that great. It was down a little over 13%. Uh, it was a tough year in the markets, no place really to hide, uh, especially for big pension funds like this. So anyway, I thought I'd um, just do this video, kind of show you where your taxes would go, right? So they're, you know, safely invested with, uh, with your uh, trust fund here. And it's independent. It's not part of the federal government, so uh, they're not in charge of it. It's an independent uh, agency you know, kind of that quasi-federal government agency, but, uh, and not, uh, uh, they don't answer to the Railroad Retirement Board. So there you go. So I hope you found this video helpful. Share it to other people when they come up. Hey, where's my money go? That type of thing. It goes right in here to the National Railroad Retirement Investment Trust. So um, please click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell to get the latest video. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.